Today you will be learning a new vocabulary about love follows the protagonist's increasingly unstable mental state through the repeated occurrence of three drops of blood. Must comment if you like today's lesson. Happy learning. Story, Three Drops of Blood. Once upon a time, there lived a husband and wife by the sea. They loved each other very much, and they wanted to stay together forever. The husband was a fisherman. Every day he would go out and catch fish. Then he would sell the fishes to buy food in the market. Their lives were poor and hard, but they were truly happy. But one day the wife got sick. The husband was so worried that he spent all of his money to ask for the help of the best doctor in the village. Doctor, there must be a cure. Of course, there is a cure for everything. The doctor gave her all kinds of strange plants and drinks, but she only got more sick. This didn't work, that didn't work. But I can try something else, I just need more time and more money. In the end, the husband sold all of his things to pay for the doctor. But still, his wife couldn't get over her sickness and finally she died. The man cried day in and day out. He had no one in the world to love anymore. After she died, he put her body on a boat and sent it out onto the sea, as the fishermen of the village did. Sleep well, my love. I will see you again in heaven. Meanwhile, Buddha was sat high above in heaven. At that moment, he looked down and saw the man crying by the sea and the boat with his dead wife on it. Buddha saw that the man loved her greatly and felt very sad. What can I do to help him, he said. So he became an old man and went down to the sea. He went up to the man and said, My dear man, I see that you are crying. What makes you so unhappy? Leave me alone, go away, he cried. New vocabulary to learn. Then he stopped crying for a moment and looked at the man. I'm sorry. Please don't go. I'm all alone now, and nobody will listen to me. I will, said Buddha. The man sighed. My wife died of insickness. She is the one on that boat. I have traveled to many places, said Buddha. I know a cure that could save her. No more cures! screamed the man. That doctor gave me cure after cure, but none of them did anything. The old man took his arm and looked him in the eyes. This one will work, but you must make a sacrifice. The husband answered at once. I have nothing left to lose. Good. Go out to that boat, cut your finger, and put three drops of blood on your wife's mouth. She will come back to life. However, remember this, your wife will have a debt to pay. If you ever leave her, or she leaves you, she must give three drops of blood to you. Then the debt will be paid. I understand. The husband took a stone and jumped into the sea. He swam through the water to the boat and climbed on. Then he cut his finger with the stone and let the blood drop onto his wife's mouth. For a moment, nothing happened. Then her hands moved. New vocabulary to learn. My love! She opened her eyes and laughed. Hello, dear. For a while, they just kissed and hugged and said nothing. Then the man turned around because he wanted to thank the old man, but he was gone. The husband and wife returned to their home. Their lives were still poor and hard, but the man was just as happy as before. But something was different. As the months passed, the man's wife became prettier and prettier. She was bright with beauty, and every fisherman in the village looked at her. In particular, one fisherman heard the strange story about how she died and became interested. 
He was the richest fisherman in the village, and he wanted to marry her. He waited, and one day, the husband went traveling. Then the fisherman came to the house to visit the wife. She was amazingly beautiful. He said sweetly, You are such a beautiful woman. Why do you live such a poor and hard life here? I am rich. I could look after you and give you whatever you want. Won't leave this man? Won't you marry me? The woman thought for a while and answered, You are right. I have lived a very hard life, and then I died. Now I live again, and things are harder than before. I will be your wife. But first I must pay my debt and give my husband three drops of blood. A week passed, and the husband returned home. His wife was quieter than before, but she did not say why. One night, they were walking on the beach. She fell on a rock, and a ring fell out of her pocket. She quickly picked it up and put it away. New vocabulary to learn. Where is that ring from? He said. They had never had money for rings. Somebody gave it to me. Who? I... I wanted to wait. What is going on? The man cried. I loved you, said the woman. But now I do not. I am sorry. You looked after me well, but we are so poor. I want a better life. Let us end this now. She picked up a stone and cut open her finger. Take my blood. I will pay my debt. She lifted her finger to his mouth, but the man moved away. I won't! A strong wind blew, and three drops of blood flew from her finger and went into the sea. Suddenly she was not there anymore. She had disappeared. The man looked all around him and cried out, Hello! But his wife was gone forever. All he could see was something small and black flying over the sea. It was some kind of insect. Weeks passed, and the other villagers spoke of the insect. It made a horrible buzzing sound, and it liked to bite people and drink their blood. People called it the mosquito. Just as the mosquito flew around the village, so did the story of the two fishermen and the woman between. It is a lesson, said the people of the village. You must stay with your man. The poor fisherman lived without his wife, sad and alone. The mosquito never visited his home, and the debt was never paid. New vocabulary to learn.